A few days ago, Michael Murphy over at System76 let the world know that Pop! OS, the well-known Ubuntu-based distro, would be skipping the upcoming 22.10 release to focus on building their new Rust-based cosmic desktop environment. Is this fine? Or are things starting to fall apart for System76? It's fine. Greetings, and welcome to another exciting episode of Veronica Explains. I'm Veronica, and today I'd like to talk briefly about Pop! OS, the recent news about the change in release cycle, and why I'm planning on sticking with them on my main work machine. So first, a little background for folks who don't know. Pop! OS is a fantastic Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. System76 ships this distribution on their custom laptops and desktops, and full disclosure, I'm a happy owner of a System76 laptop, which I bought a few years ago with my own money and have fully enjoyed. Personally, my favorite part of Pop! OS is the i3-inspired tiling feature baked into their cosmic shell for GNOME, which I've covered in a previous video. To sum it up briefly, I can get some of the benefits of a tiling window manager when I want it, but can easily switch to a floating layout when it works out better for filming and whatnot. To tactfully tell it triumphantly, tiling has totally transformed my tedium from terrible to terrific. Anyway, while these awesome features work with GNOME for now, clearly GNOME has their own plans for their desktop environment, and they don't exactly align with System 76's goals as a company. And you know what? That's fine. Open source is not a monolith, and I can hardly fault GNOME for wanting to do things their way. I don't always love their choices, but that's okay. There's plenty of ways to get the job done for desktop users. And yes, I am aware of the fact that I pronounce it GNOME. More on that later. So what changed with Pop! OS, and why are some corners of the internet nervous? Well, to understand what's going on, we first need to talk about Ubuntu. I don't like the new logo either. Ubuntu traditionally releases a long-term support release every two years, which gets five years of support from Canonical, the company developing the distro. In between those long-term support, or LTS, releases, every six months, Ubuntu puts out another release which brings in newer packages and software, and can be thought of as a sort of preview of things that will be in the next LTS version. Like many, many other distros. System76 uses Ubuntu as a base for Pop! OS, replacing and customizing packages to meet their own needs and the needs of their hardware customers. Building on Ubuntu to deliver a distro that I've really come to rely on. Now, traditionally when Ubuntu releases a new version, whether it's an LTS version or one of those every six month versions, Pop! OS has chosen to rebase their distro against the new Ubuntu version. This certainly takes time and energy to build, test, release, and host. And with all the work they're doing on the new Rust-based Cosmic Desktop environment, they announced on Reddit that they're going to sit out a rebase against Ubuntu 22.10, making the next release, 23.04, due sometime on or after April 2023. Immediately after System76 announced the change via Reddit, there were folks on the internet saying they'd have to switch away from Pop! OS. And I have to admit, I gave some consideration to the idea myself, as I always do when a tool I depend on announces they're going through some changes. First off, as of the making of this video, they haven't posted about the change on their blog or any other official documentation source, as far as I can tell. Maybe Reddit isn't the best place to be announcing major changes to your distro's release cycle? I mean, sure, we should use social media to reach out to the public. That makes sense. But I don't think a Reddit thread is a good substitute for official documentation and announcements. I do wish they would have announced it in an email to customers. Maybe they still will. As of right now, they haven't. 
but time will tell. Beyond just the way the change was announced, another reason I was a little nervous is that I'm a bit curious about what the upgrade path looks like here. Now, ostensibly, they'll include a mechanism to upgrade from 22.04 to 23.04, but that's not exactly a piece of cake. And I do worry about the impact this will have on less technical users and System76 customers as a whole. I would hate to see System76 get slammed for a less than smooth upgrade in April 2023. Beyond all of that, though, I think the biggest reason folks are nervous is that skipping the upgrade means that some packages will not get updated as expected in the next month. That made me nervous at first, but honestly, after sitting with it for a little bit, I think I'm okay with it. Via Reddit, I asked Michael Murphy over at System76 about backporting, and he provided me a list of packages which System76 has chosen to backport. Backporting, for those who don't know, is replacing an older version of a piece of software with a newer version which was designed for a newer distribution. And in this case, the backported packages are pretty important stuff. The kernel, Pipewire, which provides audio support, and more. This work in backporting important features is vital for their paying customers to continue to be happy with their desktops and laptops. So it's no wonder they're putting this work in. Another reason I'm not nervous is that, frankly, Flatpak is really good enough for a lot of my needs. I personally have been using Linux since about 2005, and I know my way around package managers. But the thing is, Flatpak is quickly becoming a first-class citizen in many of the most important distros and operating environments. Flatpak versions of software have come along really well. In fact, I use the Flatpak version of Caden Live to edit all of these videos, and it's totally fine. If it's been a while since you gave the Flatpak version of your favorite software a try, I suggest you try it again, because it is coming along pretty nicely. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, I want that new desktop environment they're working on to actually work. I was never much of a tiling window manager person before I started using Pop! OS back in 2020. For years, I was mainly running KDE Plasma on Arch. And before that, I was distro hopping into Oblivion. New band name, I call it. But the Pop! OS window tiling and stacking has completely changed my workflow. I was able to drop down to a single monitor thanks to this awesome feature, and it's made working on a laptop reasonably smooth. At this point, I couldn't imagine working without it, and I'm super eager to see what they come up with next. I want the team at System76 to have the easiest possible path to a great release for the Cosmic Desktop. And if they say skipping 22.10 is the way to get there, I think that's great. I can wait a little bit for some updates. Now, I'm not accusing all folks on the internet of being reactionary when they say they want to switch. They aren't necessarily spreading FUD, when they say they need certain package updates that were expected in the 22.10 release. But my recommendation to Pop! OS users who are otherwise happy with their systems is to just sit tight. I have a feeling we're going to be okay. What do you think? Are you happy with the recent change? Do a comment in the comment thing. One thing I love about Linux is that there are so many different ways to get stuff done. But I don't know why that would surprise me at all, because Linux is awesome. And so are you. It's time once again for Ask Veronica, where I answer a question from one of the supporters of my channel. Today's question is, why do you pronounce it GNOME instead of just GNOME? The big reason why I pronounce it GNOME instead of just GNOME is the GNOME project actually descends from the GNU project, which definitely pronounces their project GNU instead of new. It just made sense to me that GNOME 
should also be pronounced the same way. And I think I've heard them pronounce it that way in the past. Now, I don't necessarily fault anybody for pronouncing it gnome versus gnome because, you know, pronunciation is weird and language is fluid and I don't think we should get hung up on this sort of thing. For some reason in the comments when I say gnome, somebody thinks I'm pronouncing it wrong like I don't know or like I pronounce the, the mythical creature the same way as I pronounce the project. And just trust me, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that these are pronounced differently. That's how I've always heard the project itself pronounced. Maybe you've heard it differently, maybe you say it differently, that's okay. Thank you to all of the supporters of my channel and to all of you watching. Thank you so much.